were requesting for me to speak at least who was my crush now at least in the university I could hardly um, remember because my mind was filled with my Jesus spousal no, I thought I was really focused on later on I'm gonna enter the convent but there was this someone who was like a little bit makulit and almost batchmates yata kami to enter the university or I was ahead like a sem- semester or a few months uh, Mr. San Jose he was so cute tall and then very formal and like an ex seminarian and now I think he is a registrar of the graduate school I registrar and the dean or director of the grad school and one time I saw him we were sabay we heard the mass Sunday mass and then we saw each other at the grounds of the cathedral and he asked me to go with him for a meal and he even bought some chocolates. Sa akin kasi wala yun. Parang parkada, tropa. No? Pero it was like a date already. But we just ate I think in the McDonald's. And we had a lengthy talk. Pero no kilig at all. No? Yun lang. Yung pinaka-crush ko talaga noon. Pero I know that there were there were um, some who had also crush on me. Hindi ko na alam kung sino yun. Yun lang. At saka may, may nandigaw din sa akin noon na kabatch ko siya from Sorsogon. Um, na Pewdo. Eh, hindi ko naman ano nga, in-enter me. Because my, my focus was really to enter the convent. So yun, wala talaga akong love story sa sa USI. And the last time when I went back for a cooking, ano, um, training meron dun sa akin mga nanligaw pero again, tropa-tropa yung classmate ko dalawa, yung isa ang lakas ng loob, no? pero he's already a, a chef yata somewhere diretso talaga sa akin, tayo na lang dalawa <laughs> sabi ko, natawa talaga ako pero na, naawa naman ako sa kanya because dapat nga ganun kayong mga manliligaw, no? yung diretso to the point na mukhang matured na rin. Uh, tayo na lang dalawa. I think he was so dedicated to being a chef no, for a long time, long years in a Chinese restaurant I do not know where. Tinawanan ko lang siya and if I would reflect back, sabi ko sana naman binigyan ko siya ng time no, na magsalita. Na hindi ko dapat pinagtawanan yung akala ko joke. Pero seryoso siya. Pero yung isa, napakabata sa akin, mga 10 years younger than I am. Um, yun, uh, we went out, nag-workout kami together, we, we went to mass. Pero hanggang doon lang eh. As in, pwentuhan lang and everything. And then eventually, he, he went to Manila. But I have enjoyed, no, I have enjoyed na merong ganun. Parang Wilfred type siya forgot the name talaga. We had a picture pa nga in Shaky is where we had a training also. I enjoyed it so much. And I would also consider a turning cruise. No, a turning cruise na ngayon. Na, nagsigawan kami sa RE office as if as if ano um, mag-boyfriend. No? I do not know what happened. Bigla na lang siya nagsigaw. I assisted him in the retreat ang pagod kami pareho. Tapos, natawa na lang ako. Sabi ko, ano ba yan? Para namang boyfriend ko siya, di ba? Na nagsisigaw siya ng complaint niya sa buhay niya na pagod na daw siya. Yung schedule niya daw is filled up. Sa akin naman, <laughs> bakit? <laughs> Pero, nagbati na kami ni attorney Frank when he came from Saudi to the Philippines we had a chat there at the 7-Eleven. It was really great and cool. Iba na siya, may kids na and everything. People really mature and forgive and forget and create 
new friendship. So it's really very important to forgive and forget and talk. Love you. See ya. He's back in Saudi.